one of the modifications recommended for this style of lathe is to change the compound slide clamping bracket. As we can see, the plate that holds the combine slide onto the top slide has a two bolt arrangement. These two bolts are in the same axis as the center of the compound slide. By all accounts, this is an area of weakness and one which is prone to leading to vibration and chatter. The modification is just to replace this plate with a four bolt design. To machine the new plate, I'll stick it in the middle of the machine, square it up, drill the four bolt holes and then move into the lathe to bore out both the pass-through hole and the clamping hole. This is going to be a really simple milling exercise. I've got about 4mm to take off the width front to back and about 3mm to take off uh, the length left to right. So I just drop the end mill down, take off a couple of mil off this side, take off a mil or so off the far side, uh, and then reposition the workpiece, square it up, and finish off the other two sides. The workpiece is now square, all four sides, which is good. So next I'm going to drill the four holes for the mounting bolts that come up from the top slide bed. All I do is I use the wiggler to find the centre of the workpiece and then from that I shall just offset 50mm either direction along the long side and 27.5mm along the short side from the centre to get the centre points for those four holes. Nice. First I'll find the centre front to back. Okay, with both the front and back edges found, I've now set the centre on the DRO at zero. We can now do the longitudinal side. And that's the centre found for the x-axis. Whilst I've got the workpiece in the milling machine, I'll now centre drill the centre of the hole that I need to bore for the plate to go down over the base of the compound slide. The hole is going to be positioned centre on the x-axis, but actually offset slightly on the y-axis, such that the hole I bore will actually break through so that I can see the, the scale on the base of the compound slide. This scale here for the angular position of the compound slide. The centre drill hole needs to be six millimetres offset from the centre on the y-axis. My original intent was to hold the workpiece in the four jaw chuck, but of course I realised as I was doing so that one of the jaws actually coincides with the, the little breakout window to give visibility for the scale when it's fitted back onto the top slide. I did try positioning it with some parallels so I could lift the workpiece away from the chuck but I felt that was quite a precarious arrangement. So instead I've gone for using the faceplate and clamping the workpiece with a couple of parallels behind it to lift off the base plate. I've also centered this crudely, it's not spot on. By using my normal setup of the floating dead centre, I managed to get it into about 0.05 millimetres. And given what I'm doing, that's not going to be an issue. I need to take a hole all the way through at 61 millimetre diameter, and then effectively put a counterbore on that of 72 millimetres to a depth of 8 mil or thereabouts. So the quickest and easiest method I can think of to open this hole up quickly is to use a hole saw, which is what we've got in front of us. I think it's a bit crude, um, but if it works, who cares? This is 54mm, so if I can get this all the way through, 
then it would be a relatively simple exercise of just boring it out to the correct diameter. Let's give it a go. Excellent. And there's the core I've just cut out. Not surprisingly, it is quite warm. I've got the boring bar now in the tool post. And what I can do now is just quite simply bore this out to the 61 millimeters. I need to be careful with all these clamp bolts and other bits and pieces flying around that I don't end up hitting something. That's 60.8, not quite enough. Take off another. Actually, that does fit. Now we'll leave that as is. And hopefully, you can see here at the top where the counter bore, the larger diameter, will actually break through so I can see the scale. I've got a bit of a challenge because of the setup with the faceplate, I can't put my carriage stop in place. So it's going to be very difficult to ensure that I don't cut too deep. You can't see it but I do have a dial gauge set up against the back of the carriage. I think I'm just going to have to do this very very carefully. Still very snug. And I can live with that, I think that's good. Just to the depth to finish. About 0.3 further required on the depth. It's not super crucial as long as it's less than the thickness of the base for the uh, compound slide. 7.7, 7, 0.3 to come off. Did chatter a bit, but I did actually take a little bit more off on the counterboard diameter on the way back out. I have deburred it, there were quite a few sharp edges, particularly on the window here, still a little bit sharp. I've also given it a bit of a clean up with some memory, just take the worst of it off. There are some jaw marks where I had it clamped in one of the earlier attempts in the fore jaw, but I think that's worked very well. When I first put it all back together, I did notice that the screw or the gauge on the screw here was just catching on the two rear corners of the new bracket. As they were just literally just touching, it was a very simple exercise just to round those corners off, which I've just done quickly with the file. And it should work perfect now, so let's put it back together and give it a go. Here we can see the window, so that the scale on the base of the compound slide is still visible to allow us to at least crudely set the angle of the compound slide. For the closing shots we can see the new bracket fitted. There's four bolts, one in each corner, passing down through fixed two T-nuts in the T-slots on the table.
that feels much nicer than the previous arrangement but of course the proof is in the pudding when it's all clamped down and I actually do some turning. All in all, a nice little modification to the lathe. I tend not to use the compound slide. I prefer the fixed tool post, but hopefully now I should get some better results with this going forwards. Thank you for watching.